Okay, the third one. Um, the list of numbers above is to be sorted into, dis into descending order. No, it's this one, descending order. I'm always putting them into ascending order. Uh, form a quick sort to obtain the sorted list. You should now show the result of each pass and identify your pivots clearly. So, if we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so therefore we're going to want the sixth one, which is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this one, you might need to write it out again. So 59, 45, 18, 55, 47, 11, which you're going to make our pivot, 63, 17, 15, and 42. Now, a quick look sees 11 as the smallest. So I'm going to stick 11 down here. And then we're going to write them from left to right. And notice that I've underlined 11 so that it shows that it's been a previous pivot. So 59 is going to be this side 11. 45 is going to be this side. And then you carry on 18, 55, 47, 63, 17, 15, and 42. So now I've got 9 remaining. So the middle one is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. The fifth one in which is going to be 47. Now 47 is a fair few above and below. So I'm going to write 47 there and make sure that I underline it to show there's been a previous pivot. So reading from left to right, 59 is going to go this side. 45 is going to go this side. 18 is going to go this side. 55 is going to go this side. 63 is going to go this side. 17, 15, and then 42. And then we've got two subsets, so this is going to be the first pivot, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is going to be the next pivot. So I'm going to write 55 there, I'm going to write 47 there, and I'm going to write 11 there, so they've been previous pivots. So 59 is going to go this side, and 63 is going to go this side. And then we're from left to right for 17, so I'm going to write 17 there, so I'm going to have 45, 18, 15 is going to be this side, and then 42. So now I've got to find my next pivot. So that's going to be 63, and it's also going to be 18. You don't need to do 15 because it's in a subset of 1, so that's not going to change. So I'm going to write 55 here, 47 here. I'm going to write 63 here, that's the previous pivot. I'm going to write... 11 here, I'm going to write 17 here, I know 15 is there, I'm going to write 18 here, and that's the previous pivot. Now, going back to this one, um, it's only a subset of 2, so 59 goes this side, so that one's done. And if we do 18, they both go to the left of it, so 45 and 42. Now, even though they're in order, we've still got a subset of 2 here, so I would then do it again, so I'll choose this one as a pivot. So 63, 59, 55, 47, 45, 42, that would be the most recent pivot, 18, 17, 15, 11. I'd go through and I'd underline all my previous pivots. And then I'd say stop, sort, complete. And now we've got them in descending order. So if we then write out descending order, so 63, 59, 55, 47, 45, 42, 18, 17, 15, and 11. Um, so use the first bit decrease in bin pack bin packing algorithms. So we've got first bin, second bin, third bin, fourth bin, fifth bin, sixth, and seventh. That should be enough. Um, so these are centimeters. The copper wire is sold in one meter lengths. So we've got to show how they could be cut from one meter. So the first meter. Let's go. So it's going to be 63. It's going to go in the first one. 59 is going to have to go in the second one. 55 is going to need to go in the third one. Now 47 won't go in the first one. Won't go in the second one. Go, won't go in the third one, but it will go in the fourth one. 45. 45 won't go in the first one. Won't go in the second one, but it will go in the third one. 
so 45 must go there. 42, again, won't go in the first or second one, so 42 is going to need to go in this one here. 18, now 18 will go in the first one. So that makes uh, 81, which means that 17 can go in this one as well. 15 can go in this one. And then 11. So in the top one now, we've got 81, 98 in this one. We've got 74 in this one, so we're going to need to add 11 to this one. And that's it. So that's what I reckon um, is going to be for part B. And then determine whether your solution is optimal. Give a reason for your answer. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add all these up and then divide by the capacity of the bin. Now the capacity of the bin is one meter, but bear in mind that we are dealing in centimeters. So let's change that into 100 centimeters, which of course could cause an issue. So I'm just going to pause the video whilst I add the length up. <laughs> I haven't paused the video. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so if I add all those up, um, that's going to add up to 372. And then what I do is I divide that by 100, which equals 3.72. So that's going to therefore mean that I'm going to need four bins. Therefore, optimal solution. So just a quick um, tip, just in case you're watching this for the first time, ready for your exams for 2017 or if you're retaking. Um, what I did, the reason that it took so long to add it up is that I added up and I got 372, but because I've got big fat fingers, um, what I then did is I then um, had the 372 still on the calculator. I then re-added them again just to see whether or not I still got 372, which I did. So therefore, I pretty sure that I didn't make any mistakes in my calculations. Okay, thank you very much. Um, on to question four.